Hi everyone and welcome back to MedEd Animation. So in this video I'm going to be walking through a homework assignment that involves just very basic modification of shapes in Synfig. Um, so if you are seeing this and you're in my workshop group and uh, have the file, I'll show you how to open that. Otherwise people can just follow along and see how um, to manipulate basic shapes in Synfig. So first I'm going to remind everyone how to open a file. So you can, just like anything else, Microsoft Word or whatever you're doing, you go to File, Open, um, or you can hit Control-O, but I'll hit Open just to demonstrate. And for me, this folder on my computer is the Med Animator Society, and this is called the Med Animator Society Circle Modifying Task. Okay. Um, and as you notice, when I first open the file, it's a little too big on my screen, so I can either press the minus button here down by the view, or I can hit control minus, which does the same thing, and control equals zooms back in. So I'm zooming back and forth, getting it so it's just right in my window here. What else about setting the stage? Let's see. So we have a couple layers. So if your screen defaults how mine does, your layers areas down here on the bottom right. And so here we have the background layer, which is just kind of the red blob and the blue background. You won't have to do anything with that. And then the things we'll be manipulating are the outline and region or fill area of this green circle, which are the outline and fill here respectively. All right, what else do we have? Then we have, um, yeah, oh yeah, and then just a reminder about the different handles available. So I'm gonna click in this green region here, which is the same as clicking this layer here um, to make sure that the region is selected. And in the middle, you'll notice this greener dot, um, and that's the origin dot, so that lets me click and drag to move this around wherever I'd like. Uh, <clears throat> on the top, you should have, or I'm sorry, around the perimeter, you should have these brown or orange dots, and those move the position of these individual nodes or points along, or vertices in, in uh, Synfig, you know, along this circle outline. And I should draw your, t your attention that up here, uh, excuse me, I uh, should draw your attention that up here along the top, you have options to toggle these various types of dots on and off. So if um, the green dot is in my way, I can turn it on and off. If the yellow, uh, sorry, if the orange handles, I don't want those anymore, I could turn those off. The yellow are basically the tangents, so that's kind of how strong the curvature is at that point. So it's another way to modify these smooth curves. So sometimes maybe you want the orange dots, but you don't want all the yellow handles in your way, so you can turn that off and move things around however you want, all right? And keep in mind, my experience at least is that Synfig is very buggy, so I'm constantly going to file save, or better yet, I'm just hitting the buttons control S, which makes that little star go away, showing that I've saved my document. See, I moved something, it now needs to be saved with the asterisk, I hit control S and now it's gone. So just, I save often because sometimes Synfig can quit on you. It has a lot of good things as a program, but uh, shutting off spontaneously is a downside. Okay, so now that you're oriented, <clears throat> let's actually get started. So basically the the homework, the assignment I am giving you guys is we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna move this circle, superimpose it over this blob, we're gonna change the shape, we're gonna change the color, various things. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just use this origin button, um, this green dot in the middle, to move this so that it is roughly sitting on top of the red blob. Ta-da! And you'll notice that these circle, the, the region and the outline are linked, right? So if I move a point or the origin, it's gonna take the outline with it. And so you don't have to worry about how to do that for now, just take my word for it that they're attached so you don't have to like move them separately or anything like that. Okay, so we oriented these. Um, now what are we doing? I'm scrolling down to this assignment here. Ah, yes. So now it's time to change the color of the circle. So making sure, again, that the green is selected, not the outline, but that the green region is selected. On the bottom left here, you have basically all the properties of this shape, right? There's color, there's amount that we'll talk about, all these other factors. So for color, if you just double click on the color region, you're gonna get a set of stripes like this. I don't really like to use it. I like to use the HSV color wheel, so just click over here on the color wheel, uh, the HSV, and then you'll get a wheel like this, and what I instructed you guys to do is change the color to yellow. So using just, again, the dial of the, the hues along the side and the different values in the triangle, I'm gonna just turn it to a bright yellow, okay? Same thing you might do in PowerPoint or anything else to change the color of your shape. Nothing nothing too rocket science-y yet, all right? 
So now you should have a yellow circle overlying your um, red blob. All right, let's see what else we can do here. So then, um, okay, now I'm gonna show you how to change the thickness of a line. So remember I told you there's a region here and an outline here. And when we've been selecting the region, I've said, oh, just click on the yellow circle. You know, and so for the line, I could tell you to click on, try to click the actual outline, but as you see, it's actually not letting me do it. I'm actually trying right now. And, and the thing is just that Synfig is a little finicky and, oh, that time I got it, but it's hard, right? And you might have things with really small outlines. So what I'd like you to get in the habit of doing, oops, is just um, clicking it in the layers. So go to your layers thing and just literally do that. Just select that. And you'll see that we have the outline selected now because see how the color's black, not yellow? That means that we selected this black outline. I'm gonna hit save again because I'm afraid it's gonna go at any point. So, uh, so now we wanna modify thickness. <clears throat> so I'm gonna direct your attention again to these handles on the top. We've talked about the origin button, we've talked about these vertices managing buttons. So if you unselect the orange and yellow, but you select this new one, this purple one, that is actually the thickness one. So once you have the purple selected, you can now change the outline. And the idea of this step of the assignment is just to change it however you might like, whatever shape you want. Um, so you can make them skinnier, you can even bring it down all the way to zero. You just move these purple dots laterally and you'll change the thickness at that point. Um, and this will become you know, very useful in, in various things you're making later. Um, you can also, if I wanted to like click and drag, I could select multiple points and then use my arrow keys left and right to change the thickness of multiple points at once. So let's say I wanted to keep the bottom skinny, but I wanted to make all three of these big, I could just select these three and then you know push outward, things like that. So anyway, just change the thickness however you'd like, just to make sure that you know how to select an outline layer, turn on the thickness handle, the purple handle, and then manipulate it. That's basically the, the objective of that step, okay? <clears throat> so once you've done that, we want to turn the orange uh, and yellow back on. Um, and you could turn the purple off if you'd like. And I'm going to hit save. Uh, and as a shortcut for the future, you can actually hold down Option or Alt, the Alt key. And if these are numbered, one, two, three, four, five. So if I want to turn the uh, orange and yellow off, I just hold down Option or Alt key and I hit two and three and that made them go away and I hit five and it makes the purple show up. And I can undo that, I just keep holding down Alt or Option, I hit five again and I hit two, three and they're back. So that's how I quickly do it just for your reference. Now that I'm comfortable with the program, I don't have to like click these buttons every time, I'm just doing the keyboard shortcuts. All right, so the next step of this, um, we're gonna select the region again. So you could again click right in this yellow space or you can just toggle to the region layer in the layers section. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is that you can actually change the transparency of any layer. This is called the amount. So if you go back to these properties, like where the color was, there's this thing called amount. And right now it's at 1.0, meaning it's a fully solid object. If I put that to zero, the fill area becomes invisible. Um, but if I put it to 0.5, which is kind of the assigned thing, it becomes sort of this transparency. So you could see what you're doing underneath. So that's just how you change the transparency of something, like if you want to make a cell membrane or something that, you know, just, or a window or something that has transparency, that's how you do that. And then the next thing we're going to do is just change the shape of this sucker. So um, with, again, you could actually for this have the region or the outline selected, because again, the vertices are linked. We're just going to try to change the shape, transform the the shape by um, moving the orange vertices. You could also manipulate the yellow, but in this case you didn't have to, to change the shape of those curves. And we're just gonna superimpose it on the red. So in summary, my goal of this video or exercise is just to show you the different ways you can manipulate a shape, right? So if next time I send you the file of even a character, you're gonna know how to make the lines thicker, how to change its color, how to move parts of the shapes, and so on. Um, so that that's the general idea of this assignment. And as you know, as a hint, um, these are all all these properties you're moving statically. Uh, you can also these are all properties that you might later learn to animate or move over a timeline. So it starts one way, ends another way. But first, I'm just getting you comfortable with the general controls. So there is a a method to the madness here. 
Um, and I think that was the end of this assignment. So if you're following this because you're in the group, um, basically now just save your thing. You could even do a save as, control shift S, or go to file, save as, just like in Microsoft Word or anything else. And you could just put your name at the end of it. And then uh, you just uh, email that file to me and I will uh, give you the, the stamp of approval. And of course, if you run into any questions, if you're in my class, uh, send me an email. And if you're just seeing this video for fun and you have questions, of course, leave a comment and I will try to get back to you. Thanks.